Hi everyone. Today we're starting on chapter eight and chapter eight is all about closing entries and finishing the accounting cycle. So our objective for today is to journalize and post closing entries for a service business organized as a proprietorship. Before we get started with closing entries, we need to learn how to differentiate between permanent accounts and temporary accounts. Permanent accounts are accounts used to accumulate information from one fiscal period to the next. They could also be called real accounts. Examples of permanent accounts include our asset accounts like cash, prepaid insurance, supplies, and accounts receivable. Um, also, our liabilities like our accounts payables and capital. Those are our permanent accounts, accounts that do not close and accumulate information from one fiscal period to the next. However, we have some accounts called temporary accounts. These are accounts used to accumulate information until it's transferred to the owner's capital account. They could also be called nominal accounts. Temporary accounts include sales, uh, all of your expenses, and income summary, as well as drawing. The reason why we need to differentiate between permanent accounts and temporary accounts is because temporary accounts need to start at zero in order to determine how much sales and how much expenses we've had over the fiscal period and so that we can account for any net income or net loss. If the, these accounts don't start at zero, then it's hard to keep track of how successful we were as a business over the fiscal period. So because those temporary accounts need to start at zero, we need to do something called closing entries. And these are journal entries used to prepare temporary accounts for a new fiscal period. And like I said, the temporary account balances must be reduced to zero at the end of fiscal, the fiscal period. And that's what our closing entries will accomplish. Now, we've learned about the income summary account and that it exists, but we haven't really talked about how to use it up until this point. So income summary is used to close entries for the revenue and expense accounts. There is no normal balance side. It all depends on the expense and the revenue amounts and also if there was a net income or a net loss for the fiscal period. So when revenue is greater than expenses resulting in a net income, the income summary account has a credit balance and it is shown on this T account. So again, if revenue is greater than expenses, income summary will have a credit balance. However, if there's a net loss and when total expenses are greater than the revenue, the income summary account has a debit balance. So that's what this would look like here. So these are the accounts that need to be closed. We need to close our sales, then our expenses. We close them both to income summary. Then we close income summary to um, and drawing to capital. So this is the way we would go about doing that. We would look at how much sales we have in our general ledger in the sales account. It has a credit balance. So we would debit sales to bring it to zero income summary would then be credited to hold that money. It's almost like a placeholder. Then expenses, we would look at how much expenses we have. They have debit, um, they have a debit normal balance. So we're gonna credit all of our expenses to bring all of our expense accounts down to zero. And then we would debit the total of all of those credits to income summary. Then we have the money that's left in income summary. So the money that's left in income summary, they basically, the debits and the credits cancel out. If there is a net income, then, then there will be a balance in the debit side. Um, and then if there is a net loss, vice versa. Then to close drawing, we need to debit capital and credit drawing. So the first transaction is going to be to close sales. So you can see sales has $5,820 in it. It's on the credit side. So we debit to zero it out. So we're gonna put the heading closing entries that goes right under the adjustments. So closing entries is the heading. Then we put the last day of the month. So the 31st sales is debited. Income summary is credited for the same amount. 
then we take all of our expenses, they have debit amounts. We have to credit those to bring them to zero. Remember, a debit and a credit, we subtract, so that will bring them to zero. So I start by listing all of my expenses first. So I list all of my expense accounts, credit all of those amounts, then total the amounts, and that's how much we are going to debit to income summary. Next, we have income summary. Now, income summary is going to basically match what the net income is. So net income, if there's a net income, we would debit income summary and credit capital. Um, if there was a net loss, we would just switch these two. And essentially, what's left in, net, in income summary is our net income. And what we're doing here is we're taking our net income and we're moving it to the capital account. So it's moving forward with how much our company is worth for the next fiscal period so that our other accounts can go to zero. So income summary is going to be debited for the net income amount and capital will be credited. And then lastly, we're going to close drawing. Um, and in order to close drawing, you can see drawing has a debit normal balance. And so we have to credit drawing in order to get it to zero. Um, and then we need to debit capital. Why? Because drawing makes the amount our company is worth go down. So we have to subtract capital so we can keep track of our drawings from month to month.